Next on Newsmax Prime, Donald Trump continues to dominate the airwaves while talking about illegal immigration this weekend. Texas Governor Greg Abbott reacts. Then he's in it to win it. Governor Scott Walker makes it official that he is running for president just a short time ago. Campaign Press Secretary Kirsten Kirkowski joins us. And just how big a threat is Russia? And is France being overrun by anti-Semitism? Former Hungarian Ambassador Andres Simonyi will offer his insight. And how has the media reacted to Donald Trump? Christian Roby from the Media Research Center breaks it all down. Newsmax Prime for Monday, July 13th starts now. Good evening and welcome to Newsmax Prime. I'm Joe Pags, Pagliarulo, in for J.D. Hayworth. Great to have you with us tonight. Now of prime interest tonight. Corrupt Mexican officials let him escape. Strong words from 2016 presidential candidate Donald Trump this weekend. Speaking out after a notorious drug kingpin escapes from a maximum security prison. Meanwhile, an estimated 5,000 supporters joined Mr. Trump at his largest campaign event to date at the Phoenix Convention Center in Arizona. In his speech, Mr. Trump dug in on the controversial topics that have made him an early GOP favorite. Because the word is getting out that we have to stop illegal immigration. We have to. We have to. We have a situation that's absolutely out of control. We have incompetent politicians, not only the president. Mexico, I respect the country. They're taking our jobs. They're taking our manufacturing. They're taking our money. They're taking everything, and they're killing us on the border. And joining me on set now is Newsmax contributor Miranda Khan. And for more on the story, we're going to be joined now by news director of the Tea Party News Network. It's Scotty Nell Hughes. Scotty, welcome back to Newsmax Prime. How are you? Thank you for having me. Miranda, great to sit next to you as well. Oh, thanks for having me. It was right. a pleasure. So, Scotty Nell Hughes, Donald Trump has started the conversation. The entire country is talking about him. Republican candidates are either running away from him, most of them are, or they're running to his side on this. Where is the Tea Party News Network on this? Well, we're like you guys. We're fair and balanced, of course. But what is great, we're truly following what the passion of the people are. And you have to admit, right now, as we're looking at polls showing Trump growing, that his message is resonating with the people of the conservative movement. Those that are running away from his comments, guess what? They're actually falling in the polls, and there's a reason why. Trump has literally tapped into this base of people who have been asleep, who've been ignored, and he's, awoke, he's awoken what they're considering to be this silent majority. And it's working well for him. But how long will it work? Well, that's the question that we have to sit there. You know, obviously, illegal immigration is something that is crossing aisles. It's not just a Republican issue. We're finding many people who have voted Democrat their entire life, those that are in hard labor, are being really affected by the issue of immigration. And so they're actually saying, you know what, what Trump is saying does affect my pocketbook. This is not just some sort of political rhetoric that I hear, campaign promises. You haven't heard really a campaign promise yet out of Trump's mouth that you go, yeah, I don't think he's going to pull that off. That's resonating with not just just Republicans, but Democrats alone. So I think this message is going to continue. You're going to see him start infusing, like we saw him start introducing anti-common core, hitting at Jeb Bush for anti-common yeah. core. Economic policies today with Hillary Clinton announcing finally her economic plan. You're going to see him intertwine other things. But the truth, we've been saying this for the last two years. Hey, you know, we're going to Everything talk about, stems we're, off we'll talk more about Hillary in a, in a second here. But first, I mean, a lot of what you're saying makes a lot of sense. And whether they like it or not, those on the left probably don't care yet. But th those who are running for this nomination have to be scared by this. A new Reuters poll is out. Donald Trump remains in the top two, trailing only Jeb Bush. Surprised by that or it makes sense? It makes absolute sense. It's what we've been saying all along. Those people that watch Newsmax TV, that read TPNN, those people have basically been told to be quiet or they've been made fun of so much they don't want to get out there and say their opinion. Trump is giving them a voice and the people love it. Well, let's, uh, we want to hear what uh, Donald Trump recently was talking about Hillary Clinton. Uh, we want to go to that right now and hear what he had to say about her. If you think about it, Hillary Clinton was the worst secretary of state in the history of our country. The worst. The world blew up around her. Our enemies are a disaster. Our friends, and they hate us more. Our friends are all gone. They're all gone. They're all sort of like, we don't get along with anybody. But correct me if I'm wrong, Scotty. Haven't we seen Trump photographed with Hillary? Didn't you she have. go to one of his weddings? 
Exactly. And he's actually admitted, yes, I gave the Democrats, I'm in business. I okay. do what it takes for my business. So he has. I agree with that. But even Hillary's own spokesman for the State Department could not list when asked what was something she accomplished. She couldn't even list it. So how can the American people know it if Hillary's own folks that she works with can't even list one of her accomplishments? But is it fair to say... And this is the question I want to ask you. Is the Trump that we're seeing that's going to Twitter and on air, is that the same Trump he's always been? Well, no, and that's something that's been pointed out is did he flip flop? Now, here's the difference between the flip flopping that we're finding of candidates today. Trump's flip flops were from years ago, even up to 10 to 15 years ago. Um, he does admit it's nothing he doesn't hide. Yes, I gave the Democrats. Where we're, we're the American people where conservatives don't like people like Jeb Bush who flip flop from ideas last month. We saw a lot of people. We saw people like Cruz and Rubio and others flip-flop on this trade issue. We don't want to see flip-flopping or learning or maturing, as some of these politicians are saying, that have happened within the last one, two, or three years, or in some cases on the campaign trail. Uh, you know, Trump also wasn't shy about calling out the Iraqi people. The Iraqi people, they just aren't getting it. They don't care, he says. The government is corrupt there. Is that going to help or hurt him? How do you feel about that? I think that's absolutely true. I have been to Iraq. I have seen the people. I've been in the streets. Unfortunately, this irresponsible handling of Iraq and the withdrawal that President Obama has done has literally just left this powder keg in the Middle East, especially where Iraq is. And he's right. It is going to take some serious reform. We either need to go in there 100 percent, but this little, little lollygagging of 300 people, that's not going to do anything. You either go all or nothing or let them just handle it themselves. I want to talk about uh, Governor uh, Scott Walker, who's announcing that he's going to be running for presidency in just a moment. But I want to go back to something that you were saying earlier. You said, Scotty, that Trump hasn't made a campaign promise that he can't keep. But we have heard others say that, you know, Trump keeps saying he's going to build a wall and he's going yeah. to make Mexico pay for it. Some say that's unrealistic, including well, New Jersey's governor. You know, well, of course, Chris Christie's going to say that a, a state that's full of sanctuary cities. And right now, Chris Christie has the same fire as Trump, but doesn't have any sort of motivation or any sort of cloud to back it up. I do believe that Trump will build a fence. The majority of border states, the people in those states, believe that we can build a fence. Now, to get the Mexican government to pay for it, that might take some slick talking. But yeah. to be honest with you, Trump's built some amazing places, and so he's dealt with diplomats before. So it'll you be, can't necessarily rule that out. It's a fun campaign promise. We'll see if he can stick to it. Uh, Scotty, no. All right, so we do have Scott Walker in the race now. We have, I think, 73. No, four, 45. It's like 82. There are a lot of people running for the Republican nomination. I mean, what do we do here? Are we happy about this? Are we unhappy about this? Where are you? Well, the good news is it's definitely keeping what we thought people like you and I who are in this business, we would be asleep right now. At least we're being very entertained. And with this many people and their grandmothers in the race, it's hard for the lamestream media to attack all of them. So the good news is we're seeing a diversity of who they're attacking, mainly Trump. Scott Walker getting in, I'm very excited. I've always been a huge fan of Scott Walker, what he did in Wisconsin with the unions. I want to make sure, though, that he doesn't have a Perry first round type experience where everybody's really excited about him and he comes in and lets people down. We don't need to deflate that balloon, so I'm hoping he took his Red Bull and he's getting up on the stage today and he's going to definitely fulfill a lot of dreams. But what does he have to do, Scotty, in the 30 seconds that we have remaining to separate himself from the pack? Um, he's going to need to actually, right now he's being criticized because supposedly he's going conservative for Iowa and then he's going to flip flop back. He's got to stop that kind of talk. He's got to come out. He's got to be consistent. He's got to lay a plan. He's got to take the emotion out of it. And he's got to find a way to merge both the establishment as well as the conservative base together. And he might be the man to do it. Right. Scotty Nell Hughes, Tea Party News Network. Thank you so much. Miranda, great to see you here with you as well. My pleasure. All right. So there you go. A programming note for you right now. Don't miss our Newsmax TV special from Donald Trump's week events. It's Donald Trump's immigration speech premiering tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, only here on Newsmax TV. All right, Scotty Dell, thank you so much for your time. Still to come, just how bad a deal is the nuclear agreement with Iran? General Michael Flynn reacts. Then later, Donald Trump's strong stance on immigration has caught everyone's attention. So how is the media treating the 2016 hopeful? Christian Roby from the Media Research Center will go in depth. But first, Scott Walker has made it official that he's running for president. Kirsten Kirkowski, his press secretary, with details of the message he wants to get out. That more when Newsmax Prime continues.